The second ship of the indigenously designed and constructed multi-purpose vessel project for the Indian Navy was launched at L and T Shipyard. Bharat Electronics Limited has received new orders worth 561 crore rupees for the supply of communication equipment, electro-optics and radar and fire control system. The RDO's Nag Mark II third generation fire and forget anti-tank guided missile has successfully completed field firing trials, and the entire weapon system is now ready for induction into army. The Indian Army chief has said that the army will sign the 8000 crore rupees contract for 307 attacks before the end of March 2025. The Ministry of Defence will conclude a 53000 crore rupees deal for 156 Prachand light combat helicopters in March. The Indian Army is all set to sign the 6000 crore rupees deal for the procurement of indigenous high explosive pre-fragmented ammunition and 4500 crore rupees deal for area denial munition. Nashik based startup Boss Automotive has unveiled its NX360 cargo assist unmanned ground vehicle that has a 500 kg payload capacity. The Indian Air Force has initiated the process to purchase 20 specialized kamikaze UAVs to protect vital installations from swarm drones. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited is gearing up to sign a contract for supply of light utility helicopters to the Indian Army and Indian Air Force in the second quarter of this year. MKU Limited has announced that it has achieved a capacity to manufacture 24,000 bulletproof helmets per month. The Indian Air Force has voiced strong support for the co-development of a new jet engine under the AMCA program, however, the plan now involves partnering with a foreign original equipment manufacturer to design the core of the engine, while Indian scientists and engineers focus on developing the low-pressure side of the engine. This collaboration aims to leverage international expertise for the more complex parts of the jet engine particularly the combustor core and high-pressure components, which would otherwise take decades to develop independently, and will not meet the required timelines for the AMCA Mark II program. The DRDO has achieved a major milestone with the successful field evaluation trials of the indigenously developed Nag Mark II anti-tank fire and forget guided missile. During the three field trials, the missile system destroyed precisely all designated targets at both maximum and minimum ranges. In addition to the missile trials, the latest second version of NAG missile carrier known as Namiku also underwent successful field evaluations, marking a critical step in operationalizing the complete weapon system that is now ready for induction. The Indian Army Chief has said that the Army is progressing with the acquisition of 350 Zorawa light tanks, and after the recent high altitude trials, certain improvements to the light tank have been suggested based on the performance observed during these evaluations. The light tank has successfully completed preliminary field trials and firing tests at 4,200 meters altitude, and the next phase of trials will include missile firings. User trials by the Indian Army will take 12 to 18 months, and it is expected to be ready for induction into service by 2027. Today's Top 3 Comments Oh, Mark, dropped it.